Hi, this is Pat with Codecademy. I'm a developer based in Washington, D.C. If you're looking to get a job full-time as a developer, this is for you. In this video, we're going to cover how to form a plan, how to learn what technologies to study, and what the hiring cycle looks like. Now, while I've interviewed plenty of my developer friends, as well as given my own advice here, it should be stated that this is the billion dollar question and no one can really answer it in a short YouTube video. See, everyone's circumstances, history, and current situation is different, all of which influence what your chances are of landing your first job as a developer. I want you to succeed, but we're not doing anyone any favors by suggesting a one-size-fits-all approach that will work for everyone. I was self-taught, but I've worked with people who studied computer science in college, went to boot camps, and though these paths are quite different, there are some habits of highly successful web developers that we can all learn from. First, it's helpful to begin with the end in mind. There are three things I want you to keep in mind when considering what you should be working on when you want to start interviewing. Where do you want to work? Where are your technical skills currently? Where do you see yourself as a culture fit? See, companies typically screen for two major things. One, technical ability, and two, culture fit. I've found that even if a company thinks you're a good fit, they might not be a good fit for you. Let's focus on what I mean. A web developer can be doing vastly different work at a startup, where they get to do all kinds of tasks. A mid-sized company, where they will have more defined role and likely not stray from that too much. To a large company, where they get to focus on a narrow specialty. So knowing what type of company that aligns with where you want to work can both increase your chances of getting the job and being happy there. Knowing where you want to work can also have a super helpful benefit, which I'll discuss in just a second. But before we leave this point, it's important to point out that you're interviewing the company as much as they're interviewing you. Be sure to ask the kinds of questions that can help you clarify it of the work that you're actually going to be doing there and what's expected of you. Be sure to take a look at the company values and if you can, talk with someone who works there or is familiar with that company. Be sure this is the kind of place you want to spend your time at. It is possible to be a developer at the wrong company for you. Next, and probably most pressing on your mind, are your technical skills. This is a super tricky one to answer because while I've been a front-end developer all my coding career, the tech stack hasn't been the same for any of my companies. But depending on what your timeline is for when you want to interview for a job, you'll need to start a roadmap and get all the technical skills that you need. There are some universal technologies you should have under your belt for your first job as a developer. Command line. Nearly all web developers' tools don't come with a sleek interface with fancy buttons. Local environments, deployments, Git, even installations are all run using command line. It's the ABCs of programming literacy. Git. This is what web developers use to work on the same code base, the same file, even the same line without erasing each other's contribution. It's powerful stuff. You should be familiar, if not worked with, application programming interfaces, or APIs, which is how different applications talk to each other. Basic web programming patterns. We've been building the web for a while, and we've learned some lessons, so we try to apply them in a pattern where we can. Programming patterns like object-oriented programming or functional programming. These two schools of thought are the primary ways that we build applications. They're about as different as soccer and football, even though they share a lot of similarities. If this all sounds like gobbledygook to you, don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to learn. And there are links in the description to a ton of free or cheap resources that will help you get all of these under your belt. Some general advice would be things like, being comfortable with a text editor or IDE, an integrated development environment. Knowing the strengths and disadvantages of your chosen language or framework. Dry coding, meaning don't repeat yourself, and why that's important to the health of a code base. Some are just best practices like linting, the programming equivalent of spell check for your code, formatting code, conventions of a language, and project structures. Now there are many different kinds of developers, so it's hard to narrow down a good list for everyone, but there are some general guidelines. Knowing what kind of technologies go into your chosen tech stack and why they're there. What I mean is, what advantages do they bring to the application? For example, you'll likely be asked why you were working with the technologies that you did, and it looks better if you can speak to the benefits and limitations of those technologies. If you want to know what technologies you want to start learning, but not sure where to start, let's circle back to that original point of beginning with the end in mind. Where do you want to work? A great way to get a list of things to learn is to go to the job boards of companies you'd like to work for. They'll likely have job postings and quite literally list out all the skills you'll be expected to know. Why is this important? For context, a full stack developer might be expected to know HTML, CSS, and a JavaScript library like React, Angular, or Vue for the front end, 
and some server-side scripting languages like Node or Python with a database like Mongo or MySQL for the backend. However, this could vary wildly from company to company, so you may end up learning the wrong tech stack depending on where you hope to end up. You won't necessarily go wrong by picking some of these languages, but you'll make yourself more attractive to the types of companies you hope to work for if you have what they're looking for. Lastly, what does the hiring process look like? Don't worry, if you've been on job interviews, it's not too different, but there are some unique characteristics. A typical interview will start with a phone screen, either with a hiring manager or a person most likely to have you on their team. The phone screen is a ballpark for how good of a fit you are for the role. Next, if you pass the phone screen, you'll likely be interviewed for a first round. Depending on how senior of the position you're going for, this could take a couple of hours or all day. In some interviews, I've met with as few as one person and as many as 30 people, all for a single role. Next, most developer jobs involve a text screen. Sometimes this is a whiteboard exercise where you can have to broad stroke solving a technical problem, or you'll be sent a code challenge which can be asked for submission before your in-person interview or after. Sometimes before you can advance to a subsequent round of interviewing, you'll have to pass the tech challenge first. The tech screen can sometimes even come before the phone screen. It's usually designed to be harder than a position you're applying for. If you nail it, that can be a good sign, but often the company wants to see how you solve the problem more than they want the answer. Companies know that things rarely go according to plan, and they want developers who can think their way through problems rather than having all the answers. Hi, this is Pat with Code Academy. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. But did I answer all your questions? Do you have any more? Leave a comment or subscribe to this channel because I love responding to learners' comments. Also, I'll link all the stuff that I mentioned up in the show description here so that you can reference that for the future. And if you want to get started in programming, come on over to Code Academy. It will help you get started. I promise your friends will be asking you how you did it in no time.